things I talked about the old library yesterday. Let's draw that today. Literally across, literally across road from the new library. So, um, it's afternoon because I've been busy. Um, I have been uh, putting all the work, all my prints in. Uh, which means cutting random bits of cars. Um, so I have lots of leftover bits of card. And yeah, it's been busy, busy, busy. So if you've not already seen it, um, I, well, I'm hoping you've seen it by now. That's at least a week behind. A week ahead on posting these videos. Um, I have launched a Patreon to help support this channel. Um, because, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I. I love painting and I do it anyway, every day anyways. It'd just be nice to uh, also earn that money from it. Uh, but yeah, I'll do kind of support list at the and for anyone who's over kind of the basic mark. It's, uh, yeah. So it's been a very busy day trying to get sorted because I'm framing or not framing. I'm putting these all in bags so then they can go to the pop shop. I'm ready to sell. Um, and also I've been applying for things. And uh, yeah. I'm finding work as always. Because unless the patron takes off or the YouTube channel takes off and we can get to the point where we can monetize it. Um, my actual job is selling commissions and pottery and yeah. So the pop-up shop is part of my actual job, but it, on LinkedIn, I posted how much I earned last month. If you're interested in that, find me on LinkedIn. The name's the same. Um, obviously, about the art part, because I don't have a business profile for uh, the side of the business. I do for Red Fox Pottery. about doing whatever I can to uh, at the moment it's about kind of surviving another year <clears throat> with the uh, energy crisis um, working from home becomes a bit more expensive um, there's a Airbnb have one day a week. You can go and you can use their space, but it's a day a week. And that's in Blackpool. And it's the sort of place where I would agree to meet clients, I guess. 
Um, I guess, no, I didn't. Yeah, I would go with me clients there. But otherwise, um, not so much. I mean, it's a good middle ground if you've got clients coming from out of town to go to Hot B&B because it's in the centre of Blackpool. Um, whereas Fleetwood here, it's a bit out in the sticks, um, is on the tram line. In fact, this is the old the library. Um, the tram line runs here in front. Um, sandstone to and the windows are all at this level well three of the windows are at this level too aren't we'll get there we'll get there um, I was looking at really old photos of this kind of area when there's a lot more money in the town and it looks really swish whereas now there's paint peeling off all the uh, places where the signs, there's, yeah, it, it's, it's not the town it once was. And, uh, It's one of those where, you know, due to global politics, it had to change. But UK politics basically meant that they didn't bring any change. They just fell apart. So I use these every day. And what I should tell you is what I like about these, as opposed to kind of old fashioned pens of a certain variety. Um, they really are water based, there's no smell. Um, they don't give me a headache. I can sit here and use these all day. He says, as he's warming up, to draw at 3pm. Um, my son will be getting home in like half an hour. So, yeah. It's one of those that if I have, if I have paid work, that takes priority over things like um, Kind of just putting these in the poly wallets ready to uh, go. Let's change that battery. So, yeah, this is the old Fleetwood Library. Um, it's a really nice looking building. And it's been used on and off over the years for various things, but you know, nothing that really you know means much to the town. Because 
despite the town being run down, a lot of the landlords would rather just have an empty unit than uh, rent out the space for uh, not very long. For not very much. someone else in charge because really my forte isn't in selling and it's definitely not in hanging around um, it's definitely not in hanging around all day um, not when I'm not getting paid anyways if I was getting paid it'd be no matter but I find just Sitting there in the hopes that someone will come in and you'll sell something. I could do with doing some proper marketing for uh, I will. Yeah, I need to look at doing some proper marketing for the pop up shop. Like a press release. Newspaper covers, uh, Macquarie Eccleston. Because I don't actually know off the top of my head. And that's where the pop is. The pop is. But it's here. We've got um, a couple of places. We've got Fleetwood Weekly News, which really is just a part of Black Book. And uh, You see, I left my pen ready. And I completely forgot where I left it ready. Right, 
feels quite atrocious. almost the end of the school day. Sometimes it feels like I've not done enough in the day. And today's probably one of those days. Despite having sent off an application, and finished an application, sent it off. Um, but it's one. And I'm always chasing myself for not doing more. trying to do post on TikTok and it just keeps falling by the wayside. Like I say there's just just so much that I'm falling behind on and the best way to not worry about it is not worry about it. If you worry about it, you don't get anything done. So, yeah, I could do with another me. I could do with me that can focus on the blah blah, rather than dreaming the next big project and trying to get everything done everywhere. going to Fleetwood Library to see if they still do exhibiting slots upstairs because um, they used to You can do it. 
see if that works. Yes. No. Maybe. It's that not knowing whether you're empty or you really can't tell. The only tell you can time on this pen is when the uh, thread is pushed all the way to the bottom. Yes, you are out of ink. There is no ink in here. The rest of the time, I can't tell. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to use reference. I think the only way to get good at not you not having to use reference is to be able to use a lot of reference. Well and then learn. Only reaches kind of the top or the top third of the window, which just seems a little odd. But you know, this is Fleetwood. Dream seriously. Um, I help if I wrote the three one one. Never really thought possible. Because why would it be? I mean, even now, as I make art all the time. For me, it's still a portfolio career. Uh, a portfolio career, that's one where it's made up of lots of different things. I don't just make money from uh, painting, I make money from pottery, and from teaching, and from and from anything and everything I can. Actually, a telephone back here. Telephone box. There's also a postbox here. I'll just put those in quickly. Okay. But yeah, there's still kind of that green. Got everything ready. Apart from smartly my paints. My pigs are there. Right by my head, in plain sight. Okay. I mean, as I get older, I kind of know I'd be terrible in a studio position. I like freelance. Sorry, I'll say that. 
As I get older, I realise that, you know, if I wanted to do concept art, it would be a freelance gig. Because that's how I prefer to work. But I enjoy having a kind of... enjoy having a portfolio career and being able to do lots of different things. I was just stuck doing one thing all the time. I would be bored out of my mind. and I have got various different rewards including you can basically essentially commission a painting on a multiple people basis but yeah every, every little thing helps really Like the pop-up shop didn't make me very much money last month. This month it'll make me a bit more because I'm teaching some classes. My experience of teaching classes is if you teach someone something, the more likely to pick up something you've made, which is why I want to get my home studio set up as soon as possible. To be able to uh, teach from here too. Because um, I want to get my home studios out because they charge me commission to teach from the uh, at the pop-up shop and a significant amount of that whereas my take home if I uh, do it at my own studio and it's not like I'm competing against them um, because they the pop-up is only staying open through to the end of the year um, kind of which is good in some ways means I'm not having to keep traveling down to um, Great Eccles which uh, cost me money it's uh, it's about uh, 45 minutes to an hour on the bus. Um, so, but because it's Blackpool Transport, uh, the fees capped at um, the fees capped at uh, 5.50. But uh, five fifty has been a significant chunk of kind of August's money. Um, like I say. If you want to know that info, I've posted it on LinkedIn. Go up there. Being open about it is just 
not everywhere. That's not good. Oh, it's a knife cut. When did I do that? What are you doing? There is a cat running around my feet. Attacking the desk. Can you not attack the desk, please? This is a different color. It's still kind of terracotta, just like I say, I thought it was a different color. And that one's not but that is. Right. Let's get the set of sort of elements on now. Kind of a Yorkshire stone walkway at the centre of town. Uh, well, it was. It's concrete. Like I say, we are in a heritage kind of area, but we only have to keep it as it was when it became a heritage area. Cheaply replaced. Bright red box box. That's white as well. 
has a dog. Next time, more pain and less talking, I think. More pain, pain, less squawk, squawk. That's it. I'm done for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.